Did I tell you about the time I went camping in the wilderness of southeastern Oklahoma? It was a dark and stormy night. The wind was rattling the trees like an angry ghost. I wandered out to collect more firewood. That is when I saw it. Saw what? Something that terrified me to my core. What, what, what was it? It moved through the darkness like a shadow. Black fur, glowing red eyes, razor sharp. I can still hear its growls in my nightmares. What did, did you do? I held my flashlight in one hand and my pocket knife in the other. And I fought the beast! Yeah, none of that happened. I was there with you on that camping trip. You were afraid of that little chipmunk and you cried when we ran out of marshmallows. Hey, I said what happens in Oklahoma stays in Oklahoma. Ugh. Hey, I have a cool story. Probably won't be as cool as mine. Get back here, Riley. Ugh. Okay, let's hear it, Allie. Well, I went to Huntsville State Park with my dad for my 10th birthday. And one day when we were hiking, we found a real Comanche arrowhead. My dad turned it into this necklace for me. Okay, that's almost as cool as my story. That's way cooler than your Oklahoma story, Riley. You know, the Comanche had a story that they would share around campfires. A story that goes back hundreds of years. The legend of the hidden bear claw. Ooh. The legend says that one day, a mighty warrior king was standing guard over his village. He looked like a man, but had the strength and courage and ferocity of a grizzly bear. One day, he saw a venomous snake trying to sneak its way into the village to bite the people. So, he stomped on the snake's head and crushed it, but the snake bit him on the heel. And the warrior died. This is the worst story ever. It's not done. Hold on. Even though the warrior died, the legend says that three days later, death couldn't keep him chained up. So he got up and walked right out of his grave. He went right back out to the woods to stand watch over his people. That is awesome. Is he alive today? Yes, and the legend also says that he has hidden a bear claw somewhere in these woods. And if you find it, you become one of his tribe and his spirit will protect you forever. If we found that hidden bear claw, we'd be rich. It's not about money, Riley. This treasure hunt isn't about gold. It's about the promise of eternal life. We're going on treasure hunt? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's, Let's go, go find, find that, that bear, bear claw. claw. Previously, on Legend of the Hidden Bear Claw. I held my flashlight in one hand and my pocket knife in the other. And I fought the beast! Yeah, none of that happened. We found a real Comanche arrowhead. My dad turned it into this necklace for me. You know, the Comanche had a story that they would share around campfires. The Legend of the Hidden Bear Claw. If we found that hidden bear claw, we'd be rich. Let's, Let's go, go find, find that bear, bear claw. Hey. What are we even looking for? How do we find the bear claw? Well, the legend talks about a root, a branch, a straight and narrow path, a great tree in the garden, and a rock that can't be moved. Roots, branches, trees, rocks, exactly what you'd find in a, oh, I don't know, a forest. Let's just look around. It's gotta be here somewhere. I'm not sure we want to find out. 
There are bears and mountain lions and other predators in this area. Run! That was close. I thought we were goners. Oh man, I lost my shoe. Ouch. What's wrong? I stepped on something. What was it? A sharp rock? A thorn? A scorpion? A marshmallow. A marshmallow? Really? I don't know. I'm thinking about marshmallows. What's the big deal? It's a pearl. A pearl? How did a pearl get buried in the middle of the forest? There are more, look. They're covering something. Are you willing to give up everything to find the true treasure? What is that supposed to mean? I think it's a clue. The true treasure is the bear claw. But what does it mean? Are you willing to give up everything? I will not give up my marshmallows. Again with the marshmallows? Guys, I think it's a test. If we're committed to f finding the hidden bear claw, we've got to be willing to give up what matters most to us. Makes sense, but what matters the most? Don't say marshmallows. Fine. Maybe it's not about a specific thing. Maybe we just need to be willing. Okay, let's say it together then. On three, we'll say we are willing. One, two, three. We are willing. Ah! Natalie! What happened? Where'd she go? I think she was the thing that we had to give up. No way, no treasure is worth this. I give up. Don't give up, you'll find her again. Keep your head up. How do you even know that, Chloe? Because it says it on the clue. Whoa, that's crazy. I'm gonna need a marshmallow after this. We've made it this far. We found the first clue. There's only one thing to do. We keep going. Previously on Legend of the Hidden Bear Claw. There are bears and mountain lions and other predators in this area. Run! Ouch. What's wrong? I stepped on something. It's a pearl. A pearl? How did a pearl get buried in the middle of the forest? Are you willing to give up everything to find the true treasure? What happened? Where'd she go? Hey. Where am I? Uh oh, I'm really in trouble now. Okay, okay, don't panic, Natalie. There's no reason to be scared. You're just lost in a cold, dark, scary hole. No reason t t to p panic. Okay, think. Dad told me to always be prepared. What supplies do I have? A flashlight, yes. What Bible verse does my dad always say? Oh yeah, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto, unto my path. Okay, I can do this. Just gotta trust the Lord in the dark. I'm gonna have to start rationing my marshmallows if they're gonna last for this whole adventure. If I hear the word marshmallow one more time, I'm going to leave you here in the forest by yourself. What did you say? Uh, I said, do you even know where we are? Well, if the sun is there in the west and the moss on the trees is growing on the north side, then, then, no, I'm totally lost. What are we supposed to do? I don't know, this is all my fault. I never should have said anything about the dumb legend. Now we're lost and Natalie's gone. Don't panic, we can get through this. Here, have a marsh. Eat this tiny, sweet, fluffy cloud tree. Cloud? Riley, that's it!
The clue said, just keep your head up. I think it means literally. We found the last clue on the ground. Maybe the next clue will be up in the air. You're a genius. I do have good ideas every now and then, don't I? There, at the top of that tree. Another clue. Help me up, help me up. <clears throat> Riley, how many marshmallows did you eat? Why is every clue a crazy, mysterious metaphor? Ugh. Okay. Why does this have to be a metaphor? Maybe it's literal, like the last one. Maybe we need to literally dig deeper than the surface. That can't possibly be right. What makes you think that? Well, there's a shovel next to that tree for one. Riley, I'll take one of those marshmallows now. Dig first, marshmallows later. What do you think we find when we dig deeper? Well, I remember a verse that I learned in VBS when I was a kid. Psalm 119, 162. I rejoice in your word like one who discovers a great treasure. You really think there's treasure down here? Maybe the treasure is the bear claw. But I don't know. I'm totally in the dark here. Well, then we just gotta trust the Lord in the dark. That's what I said. Previously, on Legend of the Hidden Bear Claw. You know, the Comanche had a story that they would share around campfires. The Legend of the Hidden Bear Claw. And the legend also says that he has hidden a bear claw somewhere in these woods. Let's go find that bear claw! Are you willing to give up everything to find the true treasure? Got to be willing to give up what matters most to us. Don't panic, Natalie. There's no reason to be scared. I don't know. This is all my fault. Then we just gotta trust the Lord in the dark. Hey. This is amazing. I can't believe all of this is underground. These are Comanche cave paintings. They're hundreds of years old, but the Comanche never built temples like this. This is unbelievable. Chloe and Riley are never gonna believe this. I might never get to tell them about this. I may be lost down here forever. <sighs> We've been digging for hours. While well, I've been digging for hours, you've been stuffing your face with marshmallows. Fine, I'll take a turn. Hey, I found something. You found something? I dug that hole. It's a trap door, help me open it. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Natalie might be down there. What is this place? Natalie! I must be losing my mind. I swear I can almost hear my friend's voices. I never got to tell Riley how I really feel about him. How do you really feel about me? I feel like you're a huge jerk. You left me alone in the dark. We've been searching for you and we found more clues to the bear claw. I thought I was gonna be alone forever. Well, I'll be with y'all to the end of the world. Do you really mean that? No, that's what the sign says right there. Guys, I think we found it. These look like keyholes. But what kind of key is shaped like that? What would fit in here? Look at this tiny one. I think I know exactly what goes here. The pearl you stepped on in the woods. But the second keyhole is a lot bigger. What could go here? I got it! My necklace! 
Great thinking, Natalie. One more lock. Hmm, the last one is different. What could fit here? I know, it's- Riley, we're trying to figure this out. Quit messing around. I'm racking my brain, but I can't think of what, what it could be. I know the answer! Riley, zip it. We're trying to concentrate. Maybe it could be- Would you just listen to me? What do I love more than anything? Don't say it, Riley. Don't say what? Marshmallow! Once again, marshmallows save the day. The, the Bear Claw! That is not what I expected. It's even better than I expected. The legend says that when we find the Bear Claw, we become a part of the Warrior King's tribe. And the sign on the wall said, I will be with you until the very end of the world. Guys, this is the greatest treasure ever. Wait, how do you really feel about me? Forget it, Riley.